Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and today we're talking about how to deal with the single targeted Inferno Tower. Um, it's something that people are using much more frequently now because the multi Inferno got a nerf. So, focusing in this video on how it affects the king because it locks onto the king very quickly and it can take him out extremely quickly. So, you got to be careful. We'll talk about ways to avoid the Inferno locking onto your king and taking him out. Um, for those of you Town Hall 9s, I will get a Town Hall 9 video out soon. I know I've been focusing on Town Hall 10 a lot because there's a lot going on at it right now, but I will cover Town Hall 9 as well, so don't worry about that. Um, but let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, developer build, just little situations I created. Then we'll look at some actual replays from Wars. Okay, so to start here, we're just going to show the power of the single targeted Inferno. We're going to have it lock on to the king here. You can see we pop his ability pretty quickly, but even just as it takes him to get through that uh, Dark Elixir storage, he's already pretty much out of health. The Barbarians take out the... Uh, um, Inferno Tower, but that's beside the point. The point is the Inferno Tower can take your king out very quickly. Um, here we pop the ability even a little bit earlier. But one thing you'll notice in these replays is the king is faster than his barbarians typically. He moves faster, so he's going to run out in front, which makes it difficult even after you pop the ability for the... Um, for the king not to be locked onto. So once again, he runs out in front. Even though we hit the ability before he got in range, the king runs out in front, meaning he's going to be taken out by the single inferno. So that's one problem, but there are um, some exceptions to that when the base has these buildings that are like... Um, staggered and it's not vertically running towards the inferno but running side to side you'll see the inferno will lock onto the king eventually but it actually locks onto a few barbarians first because they tend to walk in front of the king so when there's more chaos inside the base it's unlikely that the king will be locked onto as long as you pop his ability but if he's going at an inferno tower and we'll take a look at a few replays in just a moment you want to be very careful and you want to make sure that you uh, hit the ability before he gets in range of the Inferno, especially if there's not many other troops in the area, and it's likely that he's going to be locked on to. So here's an example, um, good attack, but an example of what you want to avoid, something not to do. Um, and this one going at the single Inferno at the middle of the base there, very good setup and everything, but watch right here, he drops the bowlers, he drops the king, uh, the golems are going to go down fairly quickly to all that damage inside the base, so basically it's going to be his king and some bowlers behind him going into the base right now. The golem actually falls behind. He waits to pop the king's ability. As a result, by the time he hits it right there, um, if he even does hit it, he might have missed the king's ability actually. The Inferno gets him down so quickly, um, a big waste of the king. Now I'll go ahead and show the rest of the attack because I, I never like cutting off attacks. Um, and we're going to see a different attack on this base as well. But um, is very close despite all that and despite a random wizard popping the Lava Hound, which is also unfortunate, uh, gets 99% on this base. So good attack and um, the cleanup attack is actually going to be my attack, which was also unsuccessful. You guys will see why. Um, but I did a better job with the king. I popped his ability earlier, and you'll notice some of the difference with my king still being at mostly full health even after the Inferno's down. So let's take a look at the difference here as we move on to the next attack. Same base, pretty much the exact same army too. Um, because it was a 99%, the difference was not bringing the wizard in the clan castle, and I thought that would be enough to get the 3-star because the wizard popped the Lava Hound, and because we don't have a poison, um, it took out all the extra hogs at the end. So exact same attack, but ch check out the king and the difference with the uh, use of the king's ability here. Maybe a little bit slower with the bowlers and everything, but still, um, the just popping the king's ability early is going to be enough to make the difference here. So right um, as the king starts to approach, boom, pop the ability. The uh, multi-inferno is locking onto uh, barbarians, to golemites. Those are things that aren't that important to you. And by the time it locks onto the king, it's already down. Have the rage and heal in the middle. So now I have pretty much a full health king with bowlers behind him. Um, much better off than the first attack, get the defensive king taken out, um, all that good stuff. The difference actually is the hog pathing. I hit a triple giant bomb with my hogs, and boom, they're all gone right there. Um, that didn't happen in the first attack, so you got to be wary of those triple giant bombs. They are rare, but sometimes people set them up by the inferno. Um, they can trip you up, so you got to be careful. Okay, let's take a look at a different way to deal with the single inferno. That's the skelly spell. If you have extra 
dark spell space if you don't need two poisons you can bring one poison and bring that skeleton spell look um, at how that distracts the single inferno you have the cannon and the single inferno but one skeleton spell distracted both of those defenses in time for the king to take out the um, the storage there and then be able to just step up and pop the ability take out the inferno tower now the difference is if you have like a splash damage like a bomb tower it's going to be less effective. You know, notice the Inferno was distracted for a little while, then locks onto the King. However, if the if there's other troops in there and there's other um, and the defenses are being distracted by other troops, it's a good idea to still use the Skeleton Spell because it will distract the single Inferno at least partially, which will buy your King some time and it'll make it less likely for uh, the single to lock onto him. So we'll take a look at a replay example in just a moment, but that's a very good strategy. If you don't think you need the extra poison spell, bring the skelly, because if your kill squad is going to encounter a single inferno, it's a good idea to be able to just drop on that single inferno. And by the way, this applies not only for 10v10s, but also for 10v11, because oftentimes Town Hall 11s put one or more of their, sing of their inferno towers on single, and the same principles are going to apply. Pop the king's ability early, use the skeleton spell to distract. So there's the jump spell coming in with his kill squad. We'll slow things down because um, the skeleton spell doesn't do a whole lot just because it happens to be next to a multi-inferno, which is kind of rare. Typically, they're not that close. But um, it does a decent job distracting. You'll see the single inferno beam lock on to uh, skellies every once in a while. Now, I think it actually somehow gets the king taken out, which is really unfortunate. But the idea is there. That's how you want to do it as your kill squad is approaching. Actually, the king is still up, so it must have got something else. But as your kill squad is approaching the single inferno, just before it starts to get in range, drop the skeleton spell. This works for golems, too, if you want to save your golems some health. Typically, they'll already be pretty low, so it won't matter as much. But um, just distracting the single inferno is very valuable, especially when there's not... Um, a, a multi-inferno right next to it and there's not much splash damage um, it's a great thing to have at your disposal if you don't need that extra dark spell so just think about um, what's more important okay one more attack and this one's a little bit different but typically when we're talking about hog attacks or even laloon the kill squad you want to avoid going into the inferno towers with it so this is a great place to use a kill squad here on this base because it's the big chunk of the base with wizard towers stuff that's difficult on hogs teslas taking all that out and you'll notice as the hogs go through the base here i think we'll slow it down right here um this the multi inferno and the single inferno don't give the hogs much trouble uh, neither neither type of inferno tower is an issue for the hogs the single is too slow it takes too long to take out each individual hog and the multi inferno um, can be healed through after the update so if you can look for a part of the base that doesn't have any infernos in it because that's where you'll get the most value from your kill squad the infernos especially the single inferno are much more harmful to your kill squad than they are to hogs so um, good attack here you'll see this one wrap up for a three star that'll pretty much do it for this video um just to recap guys Basically, the single Inferno locks on to golems and especially the king. The reason it's, it, he lo it locks on to the king is as soon as the golems go down, um, the king's the next thing to get targeted because it's often out in front and he moves relatively quickly compared to other troops. Um, the bowlers, the queen, those all stay behind. They have range. So you've got to be careful with your king especially. Pop the ability early. Um, that way there's a chance it'll lock on his barbarians. Now sometimes he runs ahead of his barbarians, but if there's other troops, if you have the skelly spell down, which is the next tip, the skeleton spell, if you drop that as well, it'll add to that distraction. You just want to lower the chances of it locking onto your king. There's no surefire way to do it, but lower the chances by popping the ability early as it gets in range and by dropping the skeleton spell two very um, important things and very helpful things to do and if you do those things um, less likely to have your king taken out prematurely can really save some attacks this applies to town hall 10 v 10 and town hall 10 v 11 um, that would pretty much do it though i hope this video helped oh and as i said at the end of the video if you can keep your kill squad away from infernos especially the single ones because hogs are better if it's la luna it's a little bit different but focusing mainly on hogs for this video keep your kill squad away um, from the infernos if you can thanks for watching and i uh, hope this video helped like i said for town hall nines be covering that soon so don't worry 
See you guys in the next video. Bisectatron out.